Hi, I'm Nicholas Vince, star of Hellraiser and Nightbreed, and you're watching Zombie Takeover TV. Enjoy. Once again to the Gromy Show right here on ZTO TV. Uh, this week we're going to be talking to our friends from Mississippi Bones, but first I want to introduce my special co host for today's episode. Tom and I go way back, and uh, Trevor couldn't make it. Trevor, props to you. Shout out. Miss you, but you know, life goes on here at the Gromy Show. <laughs> I'll fill the seat quite nicely. Yes, yes. But this is Tom, he's from the Rummage. Uh, like I said, Tom and I go way back, and the Rummage is going to be on. A future episode here in a little bit, and uh, thanks for filling in. No problem. Yeah. I'll just sit around waiting for that Stooges box set to come in. Yeah, I think it's I think it's over there. All right. Well, thank you never you. know what you find when you look around here at Gromies. I know. Thanks again for the to the guys from ZTO TV for uh, doing this. I have fun doing it. And, you know, stick around because after this break, we're gonna be talking to the guys from Mississippi Bones. They got a new album coming out. Maybe we'll someday, maybe someday before the end of time, they'll play live in concert again. Um, we'll talk to all of them about that uh, right after this break. Here we go with the Skippy and Dog Show. We I heard Bert and Ernie have a better conversation than half of these people. And <laughs> it's, it's fucking sickening. It, it turns my stomach to where I, I just, I cringe. And calm is a bitch, and that's the truth. Then he's got to meet his maker one day. And if anybody, you know, disagrees with me, I'd love to hear from you. Yeah, definitely call in, 347-426-3972. Very, very deep, deep uh, discussion tonight. Yeah, it does. Now I remember when the plague came And I swear by wildfire through the cities and the towns And you know where it left me And we're back in the Grown Show right here on VTO TV. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, Thompson Robin just sitting here and here with me. Uh, Trevor couldn't make it, so, you know. Um... Today's episode, we've got the guys from Mississippi Bones in here joining us. Known some of them for a long time, and uh, you, know, you guys make some great music. We're here to talk about that, but first, we'll go down the line and introduce yourselves here. Jared. And, and also, what does Jared do in the band? I sing. Not well. <laughs> and to your right. Dusty. What do you do? Rock. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> Jason, I provide the fat low end. Heather, I also sing not well. <laughs> I'm Derek, I play guitar, and I'm the only serious one in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Which in itself is funny. Our Derek <laughs> also has a side gig, too. Derek does some stand-up comedy around the area. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Derek thinks he's a funny guy. And and we're missing our drummer today, Jason. Yes. So, yeah. hi, Jason. <laughs> I don't necessarily think you have to put your lips. I feel. You talk, I feel like <laughs> you can hear me. This coming from a singer. He doesn't know how he to, has work to lean a mic. into it. That's what yeah. they all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got to have a mic at all times. <laughs> That's why you, all your uh, vocals sound mushed mouth on the record because you deep throat the microphone, man. I feel you need to hear me. <laughs> 
Anyway, where so so how'd you guys all get together? We'll start there. Uh, started me and Dusty. Um, uh, is this the third time we've actually we got together. I played drums. He played guitar. We had no vocals. Did some songs and stopped and then got together to record a couple songs where i was singing and it was i was awful yeah like it was it was (laughs) so terrible we quit in the middle of tracking one song and just said no we're not doing this at all (laughs) and uh i always do stuff with josh over at the zombie takeover studios and we'd tracked a couple more cds stuff i'd been singing on backups felt stronger about it so I popped in with Dusty one day and said, let's do some rock. And it just kind of went from there, I think. Yeah, yeah, because on the, on the first two albums, you got, then you've got a third one coming out. Yeah, yeah, the first Soon. sometime. Soon. It's it's then, half mixed, <laughs> covers half done, but it's actually moving this That's time. That's subject, we won't talk about that too much, all right? But um, yeah. The first two albums, it was primarily just you two guys? Uh, it was really just us two. The whole first album actually came together on a whim when we decided to start doing it josh heard some of it said come track mm-hmm. and uh there wasn't even many back and forth between me and dusty he'd just send me songs i'd write vocals we kind of went in separate and we're surprised because it came out good yeah. we're like, <laughs> and it kind of came out like you might have been surprised <laughs> <laughs> it, it was kind of a <laughs> shit if just fucking around came out this good we should try to make a try harder right. and see how good it, and that's when tracks came up and tracks was pretty much all us too we had some guest appearances alan morris on harmonica kira on uh kira did some vocals on it kira robertson robinson and uh <laughs> much mouth strikes again <laughs> bill mancuso came Call in the, uh, on the, oregon yeah, on dungeon yeah. hustle so yeah. but uh that dude's fucking phenomenal yeah yeah everybody on tracks really did a great job but we kind of made the two cds and people kept saying you guys should play out and we're like well there's only two of us and right so uh and we so enters yeah we we got into where we said fuck it let's do a couple shows and we got some guys together and one by one they all dropped out <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. as they dropped out the i think stars is that what we couldn't do rock yeah uh, well you know yeah, just yeah. time constraints yeah. and so one by one like i think the guitar player dropped out first and we called fish and right bass player dropped out next and uh jason had just been moving back from arizona and it was actually before he dropped out um i've been talking to jason and he'd said when your bass player quits give me a call (laughs) so as soon as (laughs) so that happened and we got a hold of him and um we played a couple shows with us and the original person we had playing drums eric and uh i think we played two shows yeah and then Meiner. Kira Meiner, right? Kira had dropped out. Meiner? Yeah, yeah. Meidegger. Yeah. 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 And Kira had dropped out and we were kinda at a spot when Kira dropped out, was like, do we wanna try to find another female backup singer or just move on with these handful of songs? And right. and uh so I called Heather and she, she's never really done anything like this before, but it just worked out well and but, and, but several of the people in the band have a musical history. Yes, and then when Meidegger yeah, one by one. I've been in bands with Fish Jason and then our drummer Jason since was I was enemy of mine. Yeah, we were enemy of mine and Drayton Sawyer. Drayton Sawyer, right? And I found a Drayton Sawyer. <laughs> as I'm going through boxes in the move, it's so, like, yeah, as yeah, pe- it's a collector's item right there. As people were <laughs> dropping out, we were just replacing them with old enemy of mine, Drayton right. Sawyer people. <laughs> but <laughs> right. But Meidegger was the last one to quit, and Miller hadn't. I don't even think he'd really played drums and. Quite a few years. Seven years, yeah. And yeah. he didn't even have a drum set. Yeah, and it had, it had just calling Drake, calling Drake and Sawyer enemy of mine people had worked out so well. Right. When Meidegger quit, we're like, well, he doesn't play anymore and doesn't have a set, but let's, let's go ahead and try it out. And uh, yeah, it works great. The funny thing about Jason, too, is the fact that he hadn't had a drum set for seven years and uh, got his kit ordered and it showed up like two days before our first practice and yeah. he said that he'd learned all the old songs by tapping them on the steering wheel of his car and yeah. driving to work <laughs> he yeah. tells us this at our first practice and i'm thinking oh my god <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare yeah. it was so, the best we'd say yeah, we played swamp lady and he played that better than uh, i think we'd probably played it in two years yeah, yeah and that, that was really like that for everybody i mean learned it on his car steering wheel radar had like a two-week notice and he had showed up and had 
seven, eight songs down on bass sounded better than we had. Uh, Fish had had like a week or two notice, and when he came in, when Fish came in, he knew all of the first album and tracks of all the songs. He knew more than what anyone who had been there for the first couple so months. So it then. sounds like to me is you guys write some simple shit. No, yeah. I'm I'm yes. That's a, that's a joke. We that's do a write simple joke. shit, yeah. but we do that so simple guys like you can understand. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. I'll, I'll take that. Nice. But yeah. Our, our, <laughs> and of course my brother was yeah. still in the band when we first had this lineup and he quit right before he was supposed to start tracking, which right. probably worked out for the best. <laughs> But, the least. but yeah, our first show with this lineup was last August. Yeah. And it was the best show we'd played. I mean, people had had, like Jason had had a month to prepare. Um, and we were throwing new songs in and out constantly. And everybody just, it sounded great. So we are talking about writing new well, songs. Yeah. And, I mean, the, the show in Little Mexico I came out to, I mean, that was, you know, it was yeah. great. And, and I mean, it's, I think it's that much better when you hear the new album, too. Because yeah. the first album's me and Dusty, but... Right. Everybody really brings a lot of life. Wait, and if I'm not mistaken, you guys played with Tom's old band, didn't you? Wasn't there a Desperado show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was our first show. That was their first show. And actually, uh, I remember going back to about 2002 when I was in the Full of the Hooligans, and there was a Mississippi Bones just uh, mu- it just did music. There's no lyrics or anything with Dusty and that's other when, guys. That's when I played drums. You played drums, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going on a way back time machine. No words to it. No. And, yeah. Yeah, they, they you know what's it. funny about that? Was That show was at uh, Harry's Hideaway. Harry's Hideaway, yes. And the, uh, the there was a microphone on stage, and every time you'd go up to try to talk, <laughs> it, it would shock the hell out of your yeah. lips. <laughs> and that place burnt down yeah. that <laughs> night. And so... You know, back in Ada the next day, word started filtering back that Harry's Hideaway burnt down the night before. Yeah. It wasn't a surprise to me because I said, well, we rocked there last night. Yeah, it burned down. Burned it tore, down. Tore the house down. Damn right it did. <laughs> we played with the female band there one time, all female band. She came up to the stage, and we were on before that, and we spilled beer everywhere. So she was barefoot with her guitar <laughs> in the water. She went to touch the microphone and about shot her back about five feet. Oh, sweetie, you might want to put shoes on. Yeah, that place was a dump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, Donald, you go back to uh, uh, DFE. Huh? I was never in that band. Yeah, okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah. He looks a lot like yeah. that. Ah, okay, all right. Uh, those yeah. are fun days. you got to admit it. Yeah, man. Those, those are fun. Those those DFE, fun. Rusty Nail. Uh, the quiz, the fast ones. What you doing? What you doing, DFE? Yeah. What did I do in DFE? Yes. Yeah. I rocked. That's Was right. That, um, I think that's where you put the quotation mark singer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a talked, singer. I talked aggressively. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you guys got uh, finally wrapping up the new album. Yes. It's it was all tracked and um, it's it's been rough. There was you know it's DIY so. You know, you run into money troubles, you run into scheduling troubles, you run into, and we've hit every possible one since January, but we finished, we wrapped up, wrapped up tracking late July, and then Josh had some things and had to stop on the album for a while, which, it was rough, but you know, you do what, but he picked it back up here beginning of October. Yeah. And I mean, he's knocked out half the album so far. The other half should be done early December. Cover art is looking roughly around that time too mm-hmm. so it's just we should have everything perfect to, christmas gift we should have right there. we should have everything to start getting duplications sometime in december and it's really how quick that process goes if it's out before the new year or after yeah and then we plan to do a record release listening party uh sometime very soon after the first of the year and then live shows springish yeah. Summer. Yeah. yeah, we haven't we haven't lined them up. We we have learned through this last ordeal of the last year. We have learned um, that w- to have everything set before we start moving on mm-hmm. to the next. Because there was a lot of stuff set up for this fall and irons in the fire. And when the album dropped through, everything drops through. So right. So it's we're we're hitting it one at a time. Get the album done. Get the album in our hands figure out when we're going to start playing and then start one one at a time well that's that's fine I'm, and and i love to put you on the spot record store day is coming up and well, uh, spring would be a 
be a cool time to have a, a bone show here for record store day springtime is when right, we're talking right, so right. we've yeah. you know that's been bounced around yeah um what's the uh, date on record store day again third saturday in april i don't know whatever the third saturday is that's like the 18th or something 18th like that, 19 probably. everybody always thinks it's 420 oh, yeah. <laughs> not this it just happens to fall sometimes on that day and um you know we're gonna take a little break here and then come back and talk to uh guys from mississippi bones a little bit more a few more questions and uh, you're watching the uh, Gromy Show right here on GTO TV. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the Gromy Show here on ZTO TV, and you just heard an exclusive track right here on the Gromy Show from Mississippi Bones from their soon to be released album. That song was called Electric Church. And um, thanks for uh, letting us have that exclusively. Oh, yeah. You know. And, um, and okay, the songwriting. Who, you're the lyricist, you're primarily? Primarily, yeah. yeah. It was like that in the beginning. Since we've gotten moving on, we kind of. We both have a hand. Oh, everybody now. Every yeah. yeah, this last album, everybody's really had a little bit of a hand in stuff. So, but but yeah, the seventy seventy five percent of the time, Dusty writes a song, I write lyrics, right. and then and everybody gets their own parts. Their own part. Yeah, you know, it's what makes it a band. Yeah, band. there's there's been some more. You know, I'll throw him something, or he'll throw me something, or someone else will throw right. stuff in. Well, so hey, I, I like this, but can we do something better yeah. with it? That sort of yeah, thing. there's there's been a lot more back and forth now, but yeah. yeah. As you've gotten better as a songwriter, too, uh, uh, you have more input in how the song structure goes, too. Like, you'll get a more idea of how you want your vocals to go and say, shorten a part here, lengthen a part there. A more so idea. It's, it's <laughs> more idea. A more idea. That's I got you're more, lyricist. I, I, I have, yeah, I have yeah, that's why I stick with words. music. <laughs> I have yeah. been getting a more idea here and there. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're in here. But, uh, they're in here. <laughs> but, uh, Mostly there. <laughs> and sometimes here. Sometimes. But, so. Uh, yeah, so it's more of a back and forth now than it was before. Yeah. Right. And I know you guys have bought music off me over the years. Influences, 
Heather, what, you, oh. what, what, what's an influence for you? Don't ask me anything. <laughs> I came into this band with no background at all. Right. In anything except okay. what Jerry okay. tells me to do. Okay, then, fine. <laughs> Fish? Okay, I mean, I gave her those shovels and ropes uh, yeah. albums, and she's been yeah. digging that. Right on. Her voice a little more right on. raspy. Cool. Me, I like uh, a lot of stuff that doesn't sound anything like us, though. Right. I mean, I'm the weird guy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's weird asking somebody this question because I, I know what the hell you're about. Yeah, so yeah, it's, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty out there. I can there. even answer the damn question for any Yeah, whoever. <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> it's, it's pretty out there for yeah. a lot of us. Jason, I mean, what do you, what do you, what have you been listening? To? What do you what do you listen to? Um, I, mean, I listen to a lot of stuff, but my influences were uh, like Metallica and like James Hetfield, right posters all over my room. Dusty so. shakes his head. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shake my head. <laughs> well, we all know what Dusty likes. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty <laughs> like. You name two bands. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> Dusty is heavily heavily influenced by his own music. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's that great. <laughs> all right. It's it's influential. Right. Mm. Yeah, I, I grew up on death metal and metal and uh, whatever yeah. i mean uh, classic rock and right rock and a little bit of everything whatever star some, wars soundtracks some, like some uh yeah. some star wars soundtracks right, of right, course right. Right. some jerry some jerry reed <laughs> yeah <laughs> rock, rock some mungo jerry <laughs> so so that kind of almost answers my uh my my next question is when you're not listening to the greatest band <laughs> the city bones what are you listening to uh um, right now, I've been listening to a band from Croatia called She Loves Pablo. Mm -hmm. They're really sweet. Um, but that's it's kind of similar to what we do. Right, but, uh, right. Dusty, um, what are you listening to? Um, I would say the last record I listened to straight through was the new Mastodon. Yeah. What'd yeah. you think of it? I liked it. Yeah? yeah. It's not different for them. Well... So I they got the slow tra progression going into... They're one of those bands, though, that I think they can... Every record kind of sounds a little different than the record before, but it still sounds like Mastodon. Right, I know. Uh, the biggest difference is the vocals. They don't um, scream and yell as much as they did on their earlier right. stuff, but um, I, I like where they're going. I think Crack the Sky was their, their best record, and everything they put out since then has uh, been just as good. All right, Jason, what you been listening to lately? Uh, also, the new Mastodon, I think it's really good. Um, I think my two most listened to bands these days, um, just European bands, uh, one is Birth of Joy mm. and one called Ginger Pig. I think I go back and forth between those two uh, most days. Just, what does Ginger Pig sound like? Um, you just have to check them out. An orange pig. Yeah, like an orange pig. Sounds like an orange pig. Yeah, like a... An orange pig. Kind of a classic rock vibe, I think. So. Right on. And, and, and Heather's listening to Shovels and Ropes right now. I have not stopped listening yeah. to Shovels right on. and Ropes and then, right and then you're all, always all across yeah, the board. I mean, uh, yeah. Last, I've been digging the new He is Legend a lot. Yeah. I'm still waiting to hold it in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> if it gets to any stores. Well, <laughs> that turned on him rather than <laughs> Well, thanks for showing up, guys. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it. It's, in. it's been a pleasure talking to you. And um, oh, we'll move you. along. <laughs> Next. Um, no, seriously, thanks for coming in and doing this with us. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, looking forward to the new album. And maybe some live shows, you know. And you didn't even say what the album's called. How the fuck is anybody supposed to know? He, he, he don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Are you going to have it here? It's called Three. It'll no, be oh, here. that's right. It's got some great big long fucking name. That, that, yeah. It's called Songs for the Rejects, Slackers, and Rabble Rousers. Yeah. <clears throat> that's why I didn't mention it. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to screw up the, uh, gotcha. the name of the new Mississippi. We, the, the, we got a girl doing the cover art for it, too. The cover art's probably by far the most interesting cover art we've had it's big hole yeah it's really comic big book hole. style it's just a big hole <laughs> <laughs> you reach in right, but right, it's right. a big old comic book style art piece and you've also got another song out there on uh, on the interweb deal larry yep. the martyr larry the out. martyr we got it up on our page in soundcloud it's on soundcloud you can also uh, go to our facebook page uh mississippibones.bandcamp.com we got that page right uh there. bandcamp we don't have any of the new music on bandcamp but if you want to get uh either of our two older records 
Um, you can go there and listen to them for free. You can buy them, whatever you want. Yeah, I think I'm, on, I'm out of them again. On Zombie Takeover oh, page yeah. two, we yeah. also got kind of an in-between song we did between them called Esoteric Order of Dagon. You can go download for free. Right. It's free. Right. All right. Yeah. And yeah. then the new album will be available for free probably on the internet. No. But, gotta, you know, yeah, exactly. This, but, this cost us money. Yes, so exactly. We, we so, gotta, so maybe we'll find them in... Yeah, you'll have finer record stores everywhere. They, they will be at Gromies. <laughs> right. You can bargain bin. you can yeah. always find them here <laughs> unless we have sold out and don't yeah. have money to buy new. And if you, and if that happens, just give me a few bucks. I'll, I'll make you a bootleg copy of it. It'll be all right. They'll never know. <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah. never doing this fucking show right. again. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, guys, for uh, coming in. Like I said, and um, thanks for having us. Yeah, I appreciate it. You've been watching the Gromy Show right here on ZTO TV. Thanks, Tom, for. Uh, Filling it for Trevor, and um, you know, we'll talk to his band in you know yeah. a future episode. I hope we piss people off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, once again, thanks for tuning in to the Grummy Show on ZTO TV. We're out. Top. When we get somebody in here who can actually uh, play their instrument and not sound like, uh, I'm just gonna like pull this out of the blue. Let's say Bill came in here and sounded like the, the keyboard player for Creed, <laughs> sound like the singer for Creed. Uh, you know, that would be unfortunate, but. You know, at least we have somebody who's got their own sound <laughs> instead of, you know, completely ripping off. It's true, because you definitely don't either. <laughs>